Robots are evolving into human form, you know? Yes, you too. Sophia, Mecca, and Nadine are just a few of the humanoid robots that have been developed thanks to decades of research by experts. These machines, however, have always been missing a vital component, a human touch. Scientists are currently working to give these robots skin and tissues that look and act more like human skin and tissues. The potential ramifications of developing humanoid robots with lifelike skin and tissues will be discussed today. But before we delve into that, we welcome you to AI Evolve's channel, where we provide you with the latest updates and news from around the world. So without further ado, let's get started. Wait, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and press the notification bell so you won't miss any updates from our channel. The Quest for Realistic Skin Biohybrid robots, which combine biological and synthetic components, have featured prominently in numerous science fiction stories and inspired modern robotic developments. Although the day when humanoid robots are commonplace is still far off, scientists have taken a step in the right direction by successfully attaching living human skin to robots. The novel technique resulted in water-repellent and self-healing robotic finger skin. The finger looks slightly sweaty straight out of a culture medium, says Japanese professor Shoji Takuchi. Further, since the finger is driven by an electric motor, it is also interesting to hear the clicking sounds of the motor in harmony with a finger that looks just like the real one. Humanoid robots are frequently charged with interacting with humans in the healthcare and service industries. Therefore, it makes sense that they would place a premium on being real like a human. A more human-like design can facilitate more natural conversation and inspire more warmth from its audience. While contemporary robot silicon skin can pass for a human likeness in most cases, it lacks the sensitivity of real skin and it's incapable of performing any of their tasks unique to human skin. Since it is difficult to mold them to dynamic objects with irregular surfaces, attempts to fabricate living skin sheets to cover robots have had little success. Creating Skin with Living Tissues Scientists have begun developing human-like skin for humanoid robots as a step in this direction. Among these advancements is the development of robotic fingers with textures that mimic human skin, as was previously reported. This artificial skin not only repels water, but also mends itself if it becomes damaged. There are several advantages to having skin that can mend itself, which is why scientists have been working on this for decades. Takuchi claims that the goal of this procedure is to place a task of cutting and tailoring the skin sheets in the capable hands of the artisan. They developed a tissue molding technique to physically shape skin tissue around the robot, resulting in seamless skin coverage on a robotic finger, demonstrating how easily skin cells can cover surfaces. Collagen and human dermal fibroblasts, the two primary components of the skin's connective tissues, were dissolved in a cylinder of solution before the robotic finger was submerged in it to begin the skin-making process. Takuchi claims that the success of the study can be attributed to the collagen and fibroblast mixture's natural shrinking propensity, since it shrank and snugly conformed to the finger. This layer served as a uniform base coat for the subsequent layer of cells known as human epidermal keratinocytes. 90% of the epidermis is made up of these cells, giving the robot a skin-like feel and ability to act as a moisture barrier. The synthetic skin could withstand the rapid movements of the robotic finger as it coiled and extended. The top layer was a sturdy enough to be picked up with tweezers and was water repellent, both of which are useful in certain situations, such as when working with electrostatically charged microscopic polystyrene foam, a material commonly used in packaging. Using a collagen bandage that eventually morphed into the skin and endured repeated joint movements, the engineered skin was even able to self-heal like human skin when injured. According to Takuchi, the researchers were taken aback by how well the skin tissue adhered to the robot. Japan's pioneering role The country has long led the way in technological innovation. For example, it was the first to create skin-like features for humanoid robots. Shoji Takuchi wrote in his published research report that this work is just like first step towards creating robots covered with living skin. The produced skin is considerably more fragile than normal skin, 
and it won't last long without a steady supply of nutrients and regular exposure of waste. Takuchi and his team need to incorporate more complex functional components into the skin, such as a sensory neuron or neurons, hair follicles, nails, and sweat glands in order to solve these problems. To give robots the appearance and feel of living creatures, Takuchi argues that living skin is the best option because it is identical to the material that covers the bodies of animals. The functionality of humanoid robot skin. Humanoid robots have made great strides in this area because of the development of skin that appears and acts like human skin. The end game is for humanoid robots to live side by side with humans without anyone seeing a difference. The synthetic skin should mimic the properties of human skin as closely as possible. It needs to be sensitive, self-repairing, and tough. Scientists are keen on developing artificial skins and soft materials for robots with these capabilities. They hope to develop self-healing electronic skins by utilizing novel materials. Using liquid metals as a conductor and specialized polymers and hydrogels as a skin structure are just two examples. While amazing, there are still limitations to these self-healing skins. They're prone to form shifting, require external aid or stimulus to heal and eventually wear out. In the past, scientists have attempted to replicate the look and feel of human skin on robots. Self-healing skins are increasingly a necessity for robots to be deployed in industries such as healthcare and customer service. Now you must be wondering, what is the importance of human-like features? To make humanoid robots more credible and uh, acceptable to the general public, it is essential that they be designed to seem like humans. In the healthcare and service industries where they interact with humans, these robots benefit from being human so that they can earn the trust of the people with whom they contact. LEQ is an artificial intelligence designed to be a companion for the elderly. These robots can improve the lives of the elderly by providing comfort through touch thanks to their human-like qualities, such as skin. Integration of electronic skins, also known as e-skins, onto the external surface of robots in order to give them a sensation of touch has been the primary focus of research on robotic skins, which cover anything from the fingertips to the entire body of robots. To demonstrate, researchers develop specialized skin for a robot fingertip. It is multi-layered and constructed from pressure and electricity sensitive elements. The skin is made of rubbery substance. This synthetic skin can sense what the robot touches and transmit the data to the nervous system. This aids amputees in experiencing tactile and painful feelings. Ionic current is used to sense rather than electrons, making this skin more analogous to human skin from, well, rather than the electronic skins. To create the skin, an insulating layer is sandwiched between two layers of a conductive ion conducting gels, often salt-based. Challenges and future enhancements. While we have come a long way in developing artificial skin for humanoid robots, there are still obstacles to overcome and improvements to be made to the future. The present silicon-based skin is incapable of mimicking fine textures and is lacking in features unique to human skin. But researchers are hard to work on ways to improve synthetic skin by mimicking its most complex features, including sweat glands, sensory neurons, nails, and their follicles. Including these enhancements will make the robot look more lifelike. In conclusion, it is a significant step forward in robotics that humanoid robots with human-like traits, including living tissues, have been created. This development can pave the way for improved human-robot trust, communication, and coexistence. Scientists are optimistic that these obstacles may be overcome and that one day, robots emerge that are indistinguishable from humans. We trust you learned something new and were stimulated by this move. We at Amped Up Tech want to hear from you on whether you think it's a good idea for humanoid robots to adopt human characteristics or whether you think that would, well, lead to chaos. Please share your thoughts in the space provided below. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and activate the bell to receive timely notifications. We appreciate you tuning in and hope to have you back soon.